And now we move on. The Olympic Games are drawing near, as you know, and security officials across the globe are on a high alert for terrorism. And we have evidence tonight of what that means in a plane drama that unfolded on board Delta Flight 126. The plane made an emergency landing at Kennedy Airport in New York. It was supposed to land in Madrid, but a worried pilot got on the radio and a team of air marshals on board sprang into action. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has new details now about what happened and why. Here we got an emergency aircraft inbound. After an emergency landing at Kennedy Airport. Attention all emergency equipment. Respond calls. The anxious Delta pilot told the tower there might be a team of terrorists on board. There may be actually a real team on board. And we'd like to get security on the airplane as soon as we can. A heavily armed SWAT team stormed the plane, but there were no terrorists and no bombs. Just a terrifying start of a trip for more than 200 passengers heading for Madrid. The scariest thing was landing and seeing all of the emergency people. One miscue after another led to the scare. Delta Flight 126 was about 45 minutes into its trip when it turned around. After a federal air marshal became suspicious of a passenger of Pakistani descent who had just left a lavatory in the rear of the plane. Inside, the air marshal discovered two short pieces of wire with their ends stripped, covered by a piece of dark straw, and he concluded, wrongly, they could be components for a bomb. At the same time, a female passenger from Argentina began to have breathing difficulties, and other air marshals thought, wrongly, she could be a decoy. She's the one that is supposed to be the decoy that keeps looking at the gentleman that was playing with the possible explosive device in the lavatory. In the Yen, yet another false alarm in the air that had many in law enforcement questioning the judgment of the air marshals. I think reasonableness did not prevail on this flight and crying wolf too many times will then not help you when you have a real crisis. Yet the air marshals are trained to react precisely as they did last night. They look for teams of terrorists and decoys. They are told terrorists may sneak bomb component parts on board to be assembled in washrooms. And they are also trained to shoot to kill if they think someone is about to detonate a bomb. And for the last two months, and certainly through these Olympic Games, there will be teams of air marshals on virtually every American carrier into and out of the major cities of Europe and the Mideast. So jitters are high. Diane. So not just one, but teams. Teams of air marshals. All right, thank you, Brian. And of course, the Olympics is in two weeks.